good morning everyone and welcome back to day number three. We are heading over to Animal Kingdom this morning. The weather, not as happy as it could be. Pretty cold, I think there's rain is in the air. Uh, but we're not gonna let that, oh, it is raining. Correct that, just saw that in this one. Oh. Uh, we're not gonna let that ruin our day because a rainy day at Disney is better than an end. Uh, a rainy day at Disney is better than any other day anywhere else in the world. We're going to go and spend the morning over in Animal Kingdom and then we have after hours event over at Magic Kingdom. So what we'll probably do is we'll go to Animal Kingdom for a bit, do everything we want to do there, have lunch, come back to the resort for a little bit, chill before we head over to Magic Kingdom and enjoy after hours event. You don't want to see my face that close up. It's not really raining in Animal Kingdom, which <coughs> is good. Yeah, it's good. Let's, uh, Stay like this, please. let's go and set off the uh, alarms once again. I, I think it's my so battery I looked pack. at the security camera picture when you went through, I think it was Magic Kingdom, when you were holding your bag out. And it had like a square on your body, like here, and then there were like three other pictures of where uh, I suspected. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please. Every time. Wasn't my battery bag, because I had that, did the whole arm trick. It must be the water bottle. Maybe, yeah. Did you hold your bag out? No. No, that's your next attempt. I did, I did my bag last time. With your batch. So I do. Okay. Yeah. Then you're destined to see security every day. Yeah. They just want to see a friendly face. <laughs> Good morning. Take it down and bring it back up. It's busy again. Whoever said that first week of February was uh, quiet. Ah, you're wrong. Look at that majestic tree, the blue sky behind it. You can guess that Flower Passage is 140 minute wait. So we're gonna go do Everest, which is only a 10 minute wait. Indeed it is. Let's go see a yay. Let's see a yay. And we should do the um, Feathered Friends, Feathered Flight of Fred, whatever it might be called, show. We haven't yeah. done that yet. I haven't done that, that would be a good one. See the birdies. Oh, it's 25 minutes now. Word got out. We didn't say it too quietly. <laughs> Off we go! Bye bye!
always tell how extreme that ride is by how you have it in the end. Special Year of the Dragon Spirit Jersey with a Year of the Dragon Mickey. That's good because <laughs> that doesn't have a date. Yeah. Which means that in 12 years time, or whenever, whatever the cycle Sorry, is, you, you uh, can we wear it? So good. Always forget how good it is until you get back on it. My legs went all jelly-like that I get that feeling with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Love it. Love you egg rolls. Love you. It's time for feathered friends take flight. To these crazy birds. Crazy birds. Doing all their crazy bird things. Let's face it, it wouldn't be a trip to a Disney park if I didn't make a mistake. Once again, time has outwitted me. The first showing is at half past ten, and it's half past nine. <laughs> I am ashamed of myself, so I hate to think what you think of me. Who would have thought that a guy in his days would struggle so often to tell the time correctly? Can I blame these mistakes on the time difference? We're going to do the Maharaja jungle trek to see monkeys, tigers and dragons. Oh, there's a monkey. A monkey. Oh yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Hiding behind the lean. We have your lion tail macaques. Monkeys from India. Where? Oh, there. <laughs> I was like, where are they? <laughs> Just chilling. Oh, sorry, Matt, I can't buy any lunch today. See some bats. Oh look. The lizard. Oh, there's no grass. Oh, there's no glass. They can come out. Oh, there he is. Oh, there. Variety of fruits and vegetables hanging from a chain. I'll actually bring it to the back where the bat is. Generally speaking. Um, and we'll eat on that. Okay. Yep. And at night they'll get a larger meal of first class grade A restaurant quality meat. There's some quality fruits and vegetables, of course. Oh, I don't like the fact there's no glass and they could just come in and come to this area. Scary. I think I said this before, but it definitely looks familiar in regards to the. Animal Kingdom show that they show on Disney Plus. I'm pretty sure they showed us here. Although tigers are present in the forest, you will be very safe by walking on the well-traveled paths. Good to know. Also, we're going to be safe because there are no tigers. Unless they're hiding. Ready to pounce on us. So <gasps> there. Oh, there he is. Yeah. That's a cat nap. <laughs> need to clean the glass. Dirty. I'm focusing on the wrong bit. Focus on the lion, the tiger. There he is. I reckon I could give David Attenborough a run for his money with his wildlife footage. Oh, yeah, I got her. Buffalo, something. It's a bit of a tease for the tiger. Wildebeest. The, uh, the wildebeest right next. The wildebeest so close. He probably doesn't even know. It's like, you know, if you have to live next to uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> I 
Did I wait ridiculously long to make sure that the uh, people had all cleared out? Yes, I did. So I could get a picture picture. Let's get a picture picture from the other side. Thank you for visiting Maharaja Jungle Truck. Kevin! Kevin used to meet guests like around where the tree is on Discovery Island, but she now meets guests around Dino Land, which will explain where we are because we are heading over to Dinosaur. 20 minutes. We love a 20 minute wait. Since watching Sam Mealy's vlogs, all I can do is associate this attraction with him. The impression he's left on the world. Link to his channel below. Soak it all in folks, this could be the last time we ride Dinosaur. Or well, more likely, this will be like the last time I said, this will be the last time we ride Dinosaur and we'll still be riding it on our next trip. Subscribe to find out. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? <laughs> Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is secret. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll! Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. That's it. Abort mission. Abort. Abort. Iguanodon. Forget it. Get them out now. Asteroid impact. Brace yourself. This is it. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. Mission accomplished. You made it! I knew you would. And guess who made it back with you? I better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! Got my hands stuck. <laughs> yeah, now that it's actually almost half past ten, we're gonna go catch feathered friends in flight. Correct time, and I pronounced the name of the show correctly. That's a double win. We got, we got nine minutes to get over there. Take two. And my name is Adam. How cool was that bird recycling? Yeah. <laughs> That's a raven named Denver. We have so many incredible birds for you to meet. Birds have been doing fun stuff in this theater ever since this park opened in 1998. Well, so many fun birds for you to meet, including birds that don't necessarily rely on physical adaptations. It's more about the mental state. We're really, really smart birds. Some of the smartest birds in the entire world are the crows and the ravens. There's a pipe crow right there with Adam. Yeah, and the pipe crows are incredibly smart. Truly right here as a pretty fun way to bring that to all of you. And we need the help of another volunteer. At this time, we're looking for an adult with a dollar bill. Yeah, yeah sorry, kiddos. It'll make sense shortly. 
Uh, how about my friend with the cool mini ears on? Yeah, you got sunglasses on your head too? Yeah, that's you. All we need is your money. <laughs> and, and it's not the only time you've heard that while you've been here. Um, okay. <laughs> it won't be the last two. And if you're dating, fives and tens work just as well. Yeah, because it doesn't matter the amount of money. It's just what that dollar represents. Are you cool with the bird landing on you? Place it in the palm. Just wrap your fingertips around that dollar. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Now we know the worst for the government. <laughs> yes, there's the dollar. Our friend, I know there's a, a head right there. It's so close. I did not sign up for this. And silent flight. If he flew over your head, chances are you didn't hear a thing. Owls are very quiet in flight, which means they can sneak up on their prey, which is important because they're not the fastest birds in the whole world. They're actually pretty slow when you compare to other birds. They don't have to be fast because they have all those other incredible adaptations that make them really, really good ambush predators. They are so cool. You did a wonderful job, buddy. We would love to keep you out here. You tend to make the other birds nervous. <laughs> yeah, do you want to go this way? You can go this way. This is the movie tree there. You can head inside. That is Ollie, the Milky Eagle Mountain. You guys good with seeing some training? Yeah. 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 And um, okay. Kendi, the Raven, she's a really smart bird. So the Raven session. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so. Oh, very important stuff. So, okay, when that bird came out and landed on the rock, what's the first thing Adam did? Give a treat. Gave her a treat. That's exactly right. Have you folks ever heard of positive reinforcement before? Yeah. That's what we're doing with all these birds. We're making sure they're. <laughs> okay. That, that was weird. He's gave him a treat for untying my shoes. Well, in hindsight, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but she's been going down there to eat people's like Mickey pretzels, so I just want to make sure that he's on the So, no, so we should keep her on the rock. So, yeah. positive reinforcement means we're adding something to the environment. Positive doesn't mean good, it means plus sign, addition, positive. Uh, positive reinforcement. We add something to the environment when an animal does something we like, so that in the future, when they're in that situation again, they do it again. Yeah. Okay. Get out of here. What are you doing over there? This is weird. It's a bad bird over here. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you giving her treats for this? It's pretty cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want her to have. She can like go into. Look at all the shoelaces out there. What if she knows that? That's just gonna be chaos. Well, the the nice part is she stays to the stage now. She doesn't go for the <laughs> Come on. And she only Andy, goes out go back to Adam. The other Andy, Candy, you know, it's fine. Candy, it's Candy. Candy. No, we're okay. okay. Here's what I do. Okay, Cover up the laces. Please <laughs> understand. Hang on. What was that? <laughs> Candy. Is that? <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Ta-da! Animals have some abilities that we, we don't really think about. These talking parrots, we all know pretty clearly that they're really good at this. And you know, out in the wild, it gives them the ability to communicate with their flock mates. Thanks again, Josh. Um, you know, they learn from the birds that they live around, just like you and I. We learn from whoever raises us. Um, one thing to remember, Keto grew up in the household, so a lot of that, it's even more rare. Um, a lot of that sounds like human speech. Yeah, so um, let's see what Keto's got to say about things. Um, you want to start off with your great big greeting? Yeah, it's, it's just a little greeting. <laughs> it's a little silly. Uh, but you know what, Keto can actually tell you what kind of parrot she is. Uh, Keto, she's a... A double yellow-headed Amazon parrot. It's the mouthful, but here we are. <laughs> um, and you know what? It, it's pretty amazing the things that Keto has picked up living here in the park for quite a while now. Um, she's picked up on some of the animal noises as well. Just around the corner here at Maharaja Jungle Trek, you can see the big scary tigers. <laughs> They're terrifying tigers for sure. <laughs> and if that's too much for you, don't worry. Um, Keto knows something domesticated as well. How about the little kitty cat? Yeah. Just a cute kitty cat. Uh, I think the thing that takes the cake for me though, Keto has figured out a whole song about animals. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to hear that today. What do you think? You want to sing? This is awkward. Oh, McDonald's had a farm. <laughs> AI! 
so happy that her and her friends are no longer the endangered species list. Hope is a great reminder of the power everybody has to help protect wildlife. Love for sure, we did it for the bald eagle. There's still so much work to be done for so many different species. One in particular that we focused on is the blue-throated macaw. Yes, okay, blue-throated macaws, really important species of bird. They're one of the rarest parrots in the whole world. Only found in Bolivia, and unfortunately right now there's probably less than 400 of these birds left in the world. Which is a really low number, but it's not all bad news because we've joined up with an incredible organization called the World Parrot Trust in order to help reintroduce blue-throated macaws back into the flooded forest of Bolivia. So hopefully someday soon we can all see skies filled with blue-throated macaws. Yeah. Enjoy feathers, feathered flat. Yeah, I get it. Did you enjoy feathered? <laughs> Did you enjoy feathered flights? No. Why can't I? Did you enjoy? <laughs> did you enjoy feathered friends in flight? Now yes. I did enjoy the show. It was great. Bird, fantastic. It's yeah. just the clever how they train you. I know. Isn't it? And you had your little close encounter. Did have my close encounter. <sighs> Traumatized. We're now gonna head over into Pandora and grab some food at Satuli Canteen, uh, the quick service there. Hi there. Thank you. Thank you. Pick up to the left. Oh yeah, 712. Perfect, thank you. You're just gonna take your right at the last register, okay? Okay, great, thank you. Yeah. I'd like to say that I didn't struggle to carry the two trays back to the table, but I'd be lying. What a shame that my hands are full so I couldn't feel my struggles. So I've gone for, we've gone for the combination bowl, but I've gone with beef, chicken, noodles. Matt's gone for rice. Uh, and we've got the cheeseburger bao buns with vegetable chips. Uh, but yeah, this looks amazing. 
For price reference, altogether this came to $51.41. <laughs> Cheeseburger spring roll, let's just say that. Fully fed, it was time to explore Pandora. I believe this is where they're starting to repaint some of the neon paint so they've cornered it off so people don't walk on it. It was time to bite the bullet and join the queue for flight of passage. The queue says 85 minutes. It is just gone 20 to 12. Let's see. This is the first time we've ever had to queue start a queue outside. So it's going to be the longest queue we've ever done for flight of passage. Time check. 35 minutes and we're just getting into the ACE section of the ride queue. We the hour mark and we're still in the jungle bit with the lab just there. 20 minutes and then it'll be bang on time. This barrel here has received a parking notice. Same parking notice that you get when you park your car when you're not supposed to. Someone better move their barrels. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandora and Microparasites. All right, everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold on to the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold on to the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, always remain seated and supervise your children. Restraints activated. You're going to feel the pressure pull along your back. That's just checking your restraint.
welcome back. Yeah. I did. It was. Um, it made my tummy go a little. Yeah, so I didn't Whether it was where we were positioned or. I found that as well. That uh, it was a lot more tummy jerk. Yeah, all well, their drums. Like, yeah, I found Whoop. that. Uh, the projection still needs to be fixed because there's still some really blurry bits. Um, but yeah, it's good. And I think the water is very clever in terms of like. It's got the perfect timing. That yeah, yeah, it really does. You fly through, and it sprays you the like the perfect amount. It's, yeah, very good. Very good. Definitely not worth a uh, hour and forty minute queue though. Arm of our night blossoms. Mm -mm. Yummy. All right, we're done with. Animal Kingdom for this trip, just the one day. Animal Kingdom, just the one day. Just the one day. So, catch the little boat party as he comes by. signs of divine so we headed back to the resort for some chill time hello welcome back <laughs> yes we're on our way now to magic kingdom for the evening for our after hours event naps were had naps were had runs were taken runs were taken for someone not for someone else <laughs> because we feel like the nap was maybe a bit of a mistake because uh, it's taken a while to get up and running again but I'm sure once we get going that'll be fine Put jeans on yes. and a gilet and jumpers. I mean, I'm wearing the exact same top you saw me. Do you have a jacket as well? I though? do have a jacket this time because I've learned from oh, it's very grey clouds. It's very grey clouds. I hope it's not going to rain. Learned from the states. It's a quick check. It gets chilly in the evenings. Okay. Chance of light rain in the next hour, but nothing long term. Let's go. So, looking forward to seeing Enchantment and Happily Ever After. So, two firework shows in one night. Looking forward to eating a Mickey bar, many Mickey bars, popcorn, and some drinks. All the treats. All the treats. Let's go to the Magic Kingdom. Let's go to a party. They just missed the bus. So poorly timed. Bye, bus. Bye, Magic Kingdom bus. Next one is 616. 10 minutes. Off to Magic Kingdom and an inevitable meeting with the wonderful security team there. I set it off and I had nothing in my bag. Nothing. It must be the power bank. I see it's 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 my, I've got my power bank in mine. massive though. Yeah, maybe. I do think that's what it is. We're joining the after hour queue check-in. Hello. 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 H
should let anyone in yet? What? No, there's actually barriers oh. across. And then we're not going to do that. We're going to go into the park as normal. We've got a regular park reservation slash annual pass, so uh, we're just going to go in as normal. We thought I would save time by getting wristbands now, but they haven't started anything yet. Alright, have a great time. Bye. Oh. Have a great night. Thank you. One restaurant that we haven't done is Tony's, which I feel like I only want to do because apparently you can get massive mozzarella sticks, which look great. Yes, I always had long sleeves on. I definitely didn't just go in and buy a spirit jersey from the uh, Emporium. Yeah. We're gonna kick off our night. So it is kind of raining with some food from Casey's to fill us up for the night before we eat all our sweet treats. Uh, we need to check in somewhere in the park for the after hours event. So we'll find that after we uh, have Casey's. But we're gonna mobile order, so we're gonna go find somewhere to sit or perch, because it's gonna be very busy. Guess who accidentally ordered an extra portion of fries? No, not me. Hi, it's me. <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me. Just like with all the other events, they have two different like check-in points within the park. So one, oh, excuse me. One is over by Monsters Inc. Laugh floor. start at promptly eight o'clock. Viewing is straight ahead. And the other is opposite to Tuga Tavern, which I think we've come the wrong way because we kind of come into uh, like, Liberty Square rather than um, eventually around but then. But well, you can cut through oh, yeah. that way. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, great, how are you? I'm pretty good. It's not too tight. No, it's fine, thanks. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I don't oh, no, yeah, suffocate yeah. you. Right? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And then she can grab you a pamphlet right here. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Well, have a good night. Thank you very much. Time um, to our wristbands. We're now going to go and find a space for Happily Ever After, which is in about 40 minutes. And then... That doesn't kick in till 10 o'clock, but when the park closes. But I'll show you what the leaflet says. Or the pamphlet. As they call it in America. You can really tell the difference between a Saturday and a weekday because at this time on Saturday they were telling us to use alternative viewing places such as like Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, whereas now like half an hour before the show and there's so much space. <laughs> like you could swing a cat around here, what do say? Note that I do not endorse swinging of cats or any other animal for that matter. Quickly digest this while we're waiting. So half an hour is the Magic Kingdom. So you get selected beverages, popcorn, ice cream from snack carts throughout the park. Highlighting that enchantment is going to be on at 11 p.m. Just outlining where the merchandise can be bought. Where character greets so you can meet the princesses and Mickey and then a list of all the attractions that are open but the thing to note is that down at the bottom here once it gets into focus which it's not going to do there we go uh, Tron is actually operating by a standby queue rather than virtual queue so if you wanted to you could run tr ride Tron over and over and over and over and over and over and over throughout the whole night <laughs> Do I have hours of footage and hundreds of photos of Cinderella's castle? Absolutely. But does that stop me from taking any more? Of course not. Good evening, dreamers of all ages. In just a few minutes, the Magic <laughs> Kingdom invites you to enjoy our nighttime spectacular, Happily Ever After, presented by Pandora Jewelry. Disney not living up to their efficiency key tonight. <laughs> Thank you.
each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within. Ready to begin And so our journey comes to an end, but yours continues on. Grab hold of your dreams and make them come true. For you are the key to unlocking your own magic. Now go, let your dreams guide you. Reach out and find your happily ever after. The battles, the stories, the losses in all than I am and bought a poncho but he didn't bring one for me. <laughs> so rude. Uh, it's still kind of raining. But we're walking with the crowd into Liberty Square. Haunted Mansion has the infamous 13 minutes which means it's a walk on. Which given that a lot of the crowds are probably walking this way, probably not going to be a walk on for long. So we're going to walk quickly but anything to get us inside from the rain your time has come please follow me gather around the dark side welcome foolish mortals to the haunted mansion I am your host your 
ghost host. <laughs> is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm? Time for some more Keys to the Kingdom facts. Whilst the Disneyland version of Haunted Mansion actually lowers guests down in order to pass underneath the burn, this wasn't required at the Magic Kingdom, so instead the room extends upwards, keeping that successful part of the attraction. Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. When this attraction first opened, Imagineers used glue to make the cobwebs. However, when time progressed and spiders started to make real cobwebs, they just decided to keep them. They were originally going to put the Hatbox Ghost in the attic before the graveyard scene, but the foundations at Disney World aren't strong enough to support him. Goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween, awaken the spirits with your tambourine. I really see Haunted Mansion in a completely different light, not just from the the tour piece, but also from the film that we watched, like the actual, like the most recent Haunted Mansion film. Um, it's very clever, a lot of the things how they do. So I can understand why a lot of people think that that's their favourite attraction. We're now going to head over to Big Thunder Mountain because this here's the wildest ride in the world. Quick tip, when you get to the split in the queue for Big Thunder Mountain, make sure you go to the left. They load ECVs on the right, which can increase your wait time. Get wet. Yeah, thank you. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Cowboy! Hmm. It's so calm and peaceful. I bet Tiana's gonna look really pretty when it's all lit up at night. No doubt, it will do. Really highlighting the foliage and everything. But still like a long way to go. Emily thinks it's gonna be November. <laughs> I'm hoping Emily's wrong. The amount of progress that they're making. 
is like really good. It's like they've got a point to prove that they can turn around a ride really quickly compared to how long it took them to do Tron. It's like three years to do Tron. Anyway, we're in Adventureland. Not yet, we're not, but we will be in Adventureland. And we're gonna go get a hit of that pirate water. Mmm. Bromine. Thank you. Hello. That's the good stuff. I filmed Pirates when we went on Saturday on Keys of Kingdom tour. So I'm not going to film this time. So we'll see you after the ride. And we're entering Tomorrowland. Buzz? Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Being cheap. Again. It's not cheating if you know which uh, which targets to hit. And if you watched the vlog last time, I told you which one to hit. So, sort loser. So you are. I play fairly. Sort loser. Let's go. Let's see who will uh, come out on top. <laughs> Straight out buzz, straight onto the people mover. Let's go team. It's a bit windy and cold up on here. Cuidas sus límites into the car. For your safety, remain seated at all times. Keeping hands, arms, feet, legs, and other places. Last off. And please remind me. Last off. Yeah, I got it right. This is Stand by Q4. Tron has officially started and it is officially very long. Going down the ramp. Officially, we are at our event, so let's go get ourselves a sweet treat. Hi, friends, good to see you, Miss Man. Perfect, thank you so much. Thanks. And I'm friends, if you guys could just come down here for me. You. Hi. Can I grab a Sprite, please? Right. Thank you very much. Hi, uh, a Mickey bar, please? Mickey bar. That's great, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'll grab some popcorn. Thank you. Popcorn, Mickey bar, and a Sprite. You can technically get as many of these as you want during the time, so... Gonna eat all the Mickey bars. Mickey bar! Uh, no! Oh, cold. Massive rookie error on my part coming right now. We went on the teacups and I thought I recorded our ride, but clearly I didn't. Are those teacups a different size? I don't know. I got me down myself. But we just recovered just about from uh, that spinning. We're putting the curtain up for enchantment. Hoisted up. There's that Disney magic we were talking about last time. Up, up, up. Hey.
We gather in a most enchanted kingdom. It all began with a dream. Yesterday, Disneyland and the New York World's Fair. Tomorrow, a project so vast, it has already been called a whole new Disney World. As you can see on this map, we have a perfect location in Florida. There's enough land here to hold all the ideas and plans we can possibly imagine. Really special? It's you! of dreams come true in fact lies within you this magical kingdom <laughs> 
remains a beacon to those with a wish in their heart, gifting every person who walks through these gates this enchantment. Look inside yourself and realize that you have everything you need to make all your dreams come true. Anything is possible for you are the magic. All the times we've seen Enchantment, we've never seen Tink fly in this show. It was very good. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna go out and say that it's better, at least to me, than Happily Ever After. I just got a lot more. It's got a lot more of like the classic Disney films in it. Mm, but I feel like there's less projection. So, you know, I said before how when they project things onto the castle as using it as a screen, it doesn't really have the same impact as when they transform the, the castle. Uh -huh. um, I feel like Enchantment had a bit more of the transformation of the castle. Um, but I also feel like uh, Enchantment is a bit more powerful, the song yeah. just resonates a bit more with me. Um, and it could also be the fact that Enchantment was the first castle projection show that we saw when we came back in 2022. We didn't see Happily Ever After until after we'd seen Enchantment, so it might just be the fact that we hold Enchantment a bit closer in our hearts because that's the first show we saw. But yeah, loved it. Goosebumps and everything. Which side do you sit on? Do you prefer Happily Ever After or Enchantment? Let me know in the comments. Transfer into a rocket to participate in this launch. Thank you. Can you and guess what ride we're doing now? This terrible lighting. Uh, we're doing Space Man. We also grabbed another Coke and I grabbed the Mickey sandwich, which uh, I've just put in my bag. May not ride. Sure Storing it. Let's see if it survives uh, a ride on Space Mountain. One wild ride of being thrown around later. We were split up in our cars. I'm <laughs> uh, feeling my... awkward when you're split up on um, Space Mountain. I'm sure then in a picture with people who have just stood on the road. Yeah. So I tried to duck out of mine. <laughs> We'll put it in now so you can see Matt's failed attempt <laughs> at ducking out. I'm just eating my, my melted Mickey cook, my Mickey sandwich. We rode the Omega side. And... What side did you put it? Omega. Omega. What's the other side called? Alpha. Uh, it was quite intense. Yeah, some of it I was like, that, uh, that size. Some um, of it I was like, oh, 
Generally, you ever seen from my life. Sides. Um, uh, events. Events. Mm. Typically, it's for like fast pass, fast pass. Lightning lane. Lightning. Sorry. Can we go do Tron? Yeah. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Oof. Where the queue's not anywhere near us. Okay. Far down. That's fine. So we're gonna go do Tron. Stand by. First time seeing that. Move the queue over. There. Got 45 minutes left of the night, so we're just gonna head over to do Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It's 25 minutes. He's struggling to put his drink into his bag. What? You said you were struggling to put your drink in your bag. Yeah. This is already well in there. Okay, we're abandoning Seven Dwarfs Mine Train because even though it says it's 25 minutes, it the line's like very far outside, so we don't think it is going to be 25 minutes. Maybe we get into that right before it closes. Mm -hmm. Do Winnie Pooh? Yeah, what? We'll do Winnie Pooh. Five minutes. Straight off of Winnie the Pooh and onto Under the Sea with Ariel. Longing to be thinner. That one wants to get the girl. And do I help her? Yes, indeed. Wow, wow. Keep singing. Muscles King Triton. Hello Daddy. There's 15 minutes left of the event so we're gonna go and completely lost the train of thought. We're gonna go queue up for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train which is a 35 minute wait but usually if you're in the queue before the end of the event they will let you in and let you ride so off we go. The woman was just coming out of the queue and the uh, class member was like, you changed your mind? She's like, yeah, it's too long. He's like, do you want to go in the lightning lane? Just go and tap this. Like, I'm still waiting for my turn to be pixie dusted. <laughs> I'm so nice to everyone, all the class members. Why are they never nice to me back?
fun being on the back. Do you reckon we have time to try and pull the sword from the stone? Yeah, it's a must, do it? <laughs> We're gonna try and become King Arthur, the ruler of Camelot. <laughs> That's really bad. I was trying to fix it, but I was Finish our day with a trip through the castle. Yeah. Cindy, Cindy, home. Cindy, come out to play. Trip up into the uh, Royal Suite. Royal Suite. We're gonna wrap up today's vlog now. I uh, hope you enjoyed our day at Animal Kingdom and a peek into the After Hours event at Magic Kingdom. Make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe for everything that is coming. Really helps, I keep saying it, but honestly, really means a lot when you do. Uh, gonna call it quits here. So, uh, until next time, see you soon.